Brothers and sisters, friends and family, much love to you guys. Much love to your families. Huge hugs. It is a wonderful day that our Creator has made. Our Creator is a wonderful Creator. His Son is incredible. The entire system is incredible. His Word is absolutely incredible. And His Word absolutely cuts like the blade that it is. And it absolutely is a severing device to all things evil. And guys, we're having a tremendous amount of success, a tremendous amount of joy that is coming out of the United States prison system. And I'm going to introduce you to a guy. His last name is Raper. I, he's in there for murder. So his name is Tom Raper. And he's not at fault for being born with that name. A lot of us get some funky names. We got to live with it. But however, Tom has been in there for a very long time. He's accused of two murders, and he is uh, he claims that he was only there for the second one, and they, they took him to school on it. You know, <laughs> it, 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 there's a lot of stories. There's a lot of interesting stuff, and, you know, it, it, it is what it is. The problem is when we fall under man's laws and when we do things under man's laws, we're going to get taken away in the man's system. And this is the man's system that we are dealing with. But inside of this man's system... They've taken away men's abilities to have any form of real freedom, any kind of real human contact, any kind of real spiritual mentoring. Because the only groups that you get inside of these prisons is this Jewish style um, Sabbath keepers, right? That's the only people that inside the prisons that are doing any kind of law keeping, that are talking to people about the wonderful ways of our creator, the wonderful ways of his son. And so there's, it, there's a lack of ability for the prison system to get any kind of mentoring at all. And this is where we have found amazing success with the Yacht Scriptures. We have talked to, we have over 35 people now on death row, brothers and sisters, that we correspond to day after day. That we have, it's just, it's just a, a very, it's a... It's a ministry of love. It is a ministry of us being able to put our hearts and our emotions on the line. Now, the good news for Tom is that Tom is not on death row. Tom is just in there for a life plus 60. He's in there for life. He's never, he's never getting out. But these are the results of this prison ministry. And I wanted to, to share a letter with you guys from Tom. And I wanted to show the depths of the ability of these brothers and sisters in chains to figure things out. And what we do with Yacht Scriptures is, is we write these brothers and sisters in chains and we, we, we fish with them, right? We're always shipping out commandments. We're always popping out stories. We're always talking scriptures. We're always talking life. We're talking a lot of things. And we're engaging with these guys on a personal level. And it absolutely has enormous fruits. And it's not something that you can just toss the seeds to the ground and hope something happens. This is something that the, with Yah Scripture Prison Ministry, we're able to, to seek these brothers and we, we throw the seeds out. And then we throw the water onto the ground and we, we pray that Yah will make it fertile and will make this something that these brothers will latch onto. And without a shadow of a doubt, I would say in my life, this has been the absolute greatest outreach that I have ever seen. I, I, it's just the amount of people that are corresponding with us, people that are now keeping commandments, people that now write in to say they're meditating on the laws, statutes, and commandments of our creator. It is just absolutely an incredible thing to be witnessing and to be a part of. And if any one of you guys want to be a pen pal, if you're a Torah keeper, if your doctrine is of all of the scriptures that are, and you, it has to be all the scriptures, right? It can't, I can't indoctrinate these brothers any further into these fake religions that are going to doom their souls. This is a, this is an outreach of souls. This is a, a lifeline to those who are in darkness with the ability to protect their souls. If so, they are willing to latch on. And so we need people who are in proper doctrine, people that know the scriptures, people that are, have a place in their heart. And if you guys would like a female or a male pen pal, we have them. We have the system set up. We have it all built completely. We, all we need are a couple people with a, an hour or two a week that would, are willing to take on one or two brothers. And so guys, think about it. Please pray about it. If this is something that you guys can spend some time on, it's not a ton of time. We do things in a different fashion. We have you know, 
80 brothers at least that we talked to 35 or so in the in the death row and then the rest all over so we're it's inundating work for us but if you're only talking like one or two brothers or sisters it's something that's really really easy and it's something that you guys can you guys will have blessings in your lives from what you guys learn and understand by putting an emotional lifeline into these guys and guys it is it is amazing so guys if you want to email me just jboss008 at gmail.com let's get into this with tom and um <clears throat> again this is um this is fruits these are these are the hand of our creator that is working as people us the soldiers who are supposed to be doing this he, he it's it's working and so i want to show some of these fruits and this is this is from a guy you know <clears throat> he's he's obviously walked a very bad path he's done some very very bad things but this is his word so he goes shabbat shalom brother i want to send my first seven commandments please be patient as i like to glean from the words of yah and get the most from them he goes commandment one bear fruit bear fruit and increase and he goes bear sheath 128 and guys we send them these commands because this is what you know this is what we're all about yahoo and the torah my family we're all about showing people the commands of our creator, which are very light, very easy to, to work with. And then after this, he writes in, he goes, bear sheath 128. And he says, we are instructed to grow and increase in the earth, but to be fruitful. Yah's spirit must be residing within us. We bear fruit through the help of El Shaddai. Bear sheath 3511. Incredible, right? This is the words of a, this isn't, this isn't an inmate. This is a guy that, you know, has, no hope on the outside world, but his soul is working towards the kingdom. Commandment two, multiply. Bereshith 128, Deborahim 8, 1, 30, then 16. The only way we will ever multiply and increase on the earth starts at guarding and doing every command that Yah has commanded us to do. We must guard, protect, honor, and establish his divine commandments for our lives. If we expect to prosper in any type of way, we must walk in the ways of Yah and guard his commandments, laws, and right rulings. And then only, and then only then and only then will Yahuwah Baruch you, bless you. The Hebrew word for guard is H8104. This is all his stuff, guys. Shamar. It means hedge, about, to guard, protect, attend to take heed, keep, serve, observe, preserve, regard, reserve, save, sure. That wait to be a watchman. See, yes, Yahoo, Isaiah 62, 6. <laughs> this, guy's just, this guy's just filling in the commandments and, and reflecting on them, putting them into his life and, and explaining to himself as well as bringing all this back into it. This is crazy, right? You try to add, you try to get a regular Christian that is outside to even care about the commandments. They don't care about them, let alone sitting here and writing up something like this. Commandment three, replenish the earth. Bereshith 128. H4390. Male is the Hebrew word for replenish. To replenish something means to restore, consecrate, accomplish, confirm, fulfill, satisfy, have holy. We must help to restore and consecrate what Yahuwah did before the fall of the garden. The only way is by guarding and protecting his commandments, laws, and right rulings, living in obedience. This guy's getting it right completely. Commandment four, subdue it. Have dominion over the fish, fowl, and every living creature. Bereshith 128. This word subdue is a major game changer. Subdue is a very strong word. The Hebrew word for subdue is H353, 3533, kabash, kabash. It means to tread down, disregard, to conquer, bring into bondage, force, keep under, subdue, bring in subju subjection. We as followers of Yahuwah are to bring all under the banner of Yahuwah. We're called to conquer and keep all the commandments and regulations set forth from Yah and teach others to do so as well. Commandment five, the herb bearing in every tree is for is food. Bear sheath 129. Yahuwah originally wanted his creation to eat healthy food and designed it for mankind to live a healthy kosher diet. But after the fallen, fallen flood, cling animals were brought into the picture. But it was meant by Yah that man was to eat of the herb and tree. He provided his provision for his creation. Now, I'm not going to argue this because we do have Leviticus 11, but this is incredible. Commandment 6, man and women should build their own families. Bereshith 224. 
Yahuwah made Kawa, Eve, from man, and designed them to be one flesh, taken from man. Bereshith 2, 21 and 22. Yahuwah designed a suitable mate for Adam that could begin to reproduce like-minded people in the image of Yah's creation. But instead, the fall of man came, bringing on a sin nature, and became then in the nature of flesh and likeness of the flesh. See Bereshith 5, 1 through 3. Sheath was in the image and likeness of of Adam, the fallen nature, not in Yah's image and likeness. That was originally restored. This is why we need restoration through our kinsman redeemer. Commandment 7. Master sin. Bereshith 4, 7. We are called to master sin. To conquer the desires of the flesh. To conquer it. Subdue it. Do, not, do you not know that to whom you present yourselves, servants for obedience, you are servants of the one whom you obey, whether of sin to death or of obedience to righteousness. But thanks to Elohim that you were servants of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of teaching too, which you were trusted. And having been let free from sin, you became servants of righteousness. Romans 6, 18 through, 6 16 through 18. This is my first seven commandments. I pray that this will edify you and your family. I will do the next seven in a few days or so. So please be patient with me, brother. Let's hold off on sinning more till I finish the ones I sent. I want to, I want to get the most from them. Praise Yahuwah. Okay, my brother and dear friend, I pronounce blessings from Yahuwah over you and your family. Bimidar 6, 24 through 25. Shalom, shalom, perfect peace. Loving Yah, brother Tom. So there you have it, folks. You have a very astute style prisoner who is putting together the commands of our creator and is applying them to his life. And, you know, it's it's funny because uh, please don't sin anymore till he gets caught up. I am a... Uh, I'm a, I'm a commandment uh, I'm a, a commandment wrecking machine. I'm always popping commands at the bottoms of these emails and it's because I'm too cheap. This is why let me tell you for 44 cents that I get to send an email out and it costs me 44 cents plus 44 cents for a return stamp right So it cost me 88 cents to get this out. It doesn't cost me it costs the kingdom 88 cents to get this out. I have 20,000 characters. And so when I send like little tiny emails, I feel like I'm ripping the system off. And so when we first started doing this back in the days, we, uh, we it was uh, it was funny because we didn't have Yah scriptures out. And so we were, I would send all the letters, I would get all the letters out and then I would have Eli come and then we start putting the entire Apocrypha up to 20,000 characters, every single email that went out for like over a year and a half. So when we did emails on the day, it was a huge process because Eli had to go back through and we were in different places for different guys because different guys came in at different times, but we would all send them just mass amounts of scriptures all the way to 20,000 characters. But now that we got Yah's scriptures out and everybody has the scriptures, then I feel like I'm just losing my 20,000 characters. But anyway, these are the fruits of Yah's scriptures, guys. This is something that if any one of you guys want to get available, that you guys want to help out with this program. Um, Yah's, Yah's scriptures, the big book, is limited print. It is for every scriptures we're able to get out, we're able to get one into our brothers and sisters in chains. And as you can see, it's very effective and it's it's doing incredible work that is incredible to be a part of so thank you guys to everybody who's gotten your yacht scriptures thank you to everybody who supports this ministry much love to you all have a good day i'm out